Hi Hardies, and welcome to Hardy Hot Takes with the Hardy Observer. Today I want to talk about the announcement that When Calls the Heart has received a Season 10 renewal and some of my hopes for that season. Overall, I would say I'm cautiously optimistic about the future. I have not seen anything that this new showrunner has produced and I'm unaware exactly of what her style might be, but that also excites me because I'm looking forward to how she approaches where we left off. Curious to see her take on Hope Valley. So, needless to say, I, I do have mixed emotions, but I'm excited to see what the future holds. That being said, let's dive right into my top 10 hopes for season 10. The first involves Lee and Rosemary. As we learned at the end of season 9, Lee and Rosemary finally are going to be able to start a family of their own. And personally, I don't know about you, but I am dying to see Lee and Rosemary as parents. I mean, that has been on my wish list for years now. So, personally, I would be very, very excited to see them actually in that parental role, taking care of a child, all of the fun storylines that go with that. It would be so much fun. I would definitely want to see that. Now, that being said, I also would love to see Rosemary go through that pregnancy, you know, see her maybe have her cravings and Lee fussing over her, and then eventually we reach the, the climax of a labor scene. I mean, can you imagine a labor scene with Lee and Rosemary? Like, Lee freaking out. I, I would just die. It'd be hilarious. I mean, I know Elizabeth's labor scene wasn't exactly hilarious, but... This is Rosemary and Lee we're talking about. I mean, there are so much to so much material there to work with. So yeah, I would definitely want to see the pregnancy, the labor, but then also them as parents. That is definitely on my top ten for sure. Okay, for number nine, I want to see who May really is because. We saw May come into town surrounded by a lot of intrigue and mystery, which was great. It was exciting and fun to follow. But then once the mystery was over, she left town and we didn't really get to discover who May is. We just saw who May was with mystery surrounding her. We didn't actually see who May is. So I would love to learn more about who May is her background, does she have any family, more of her cultural upbringing, like, I want to know more about her, I want to know about her personal life, and, you know, what, what is she thinking, you know, like, what, what was, what made her want to become a pharmacist, you know, I, there, are, I have a lot of questions about May that I would love to have answered, she seems like she has a lot to offer, it's just, this mystery really shrouded all of that. So I'm hoping we finally get to see who May really is. That for me was something that I would have liked more of in season nine, especially towards the end when the mystery was all, you know, taken away. So hoping that in season 10 we get more of May as a person, not just as a mystery. Okay, for number eight, I would love to see more resolution with the Canfields in their storyline because they had a lot going on in season 9 and pretty much none of it got resolved. You had Cooper doubting his faith and not going to church. You had Joseph and Minnie buying the cafe but then also Lee taking out a loan for them and Joseph and Lee hitting the rocks a little bit in their relationship. And then Joseph having struggles with Minnie's father. Personally, I think the two storylines that have the most potential there for, you know, some good material would be Cooper and Joseph and Minnie's father. Because we know Minnie came from a rather wealthy family, rather well-to-do, 
Joseph, it sounds like he didn't quite live up to that standard, according to Minnie's father. I would love to see more of Minnie's history, but also Joseph's history. I would like to understand maybe how they met and, you know, what the family dynamics were. And, you know, it sounds very similar to Jack and Elizabeth. I would love for that to be explored with Minnie and Joseph. And then also with Cooper, we had half of season nine dedicated to Cooper doubting his faith, doubting in God because of Angela's blindness. I would really love to delve deeply into that question because it kind of was left out to dry a little bit and I would love to actually explore that because once I figured out as a viewer that, you know, Cooper's doubts had to do with Angela's blindness, I immediately latched onto that and I was like, that is a very deep wound and I want to explore that. I want to approach it with extreme care and extreme detail. And I really wish we could have seen more resolution. But now that we have a whole other season, hopefully they will use this other season to really explore that. So for number seven on my list, I would love to find out more about what is going on with Bill and Molly. I mean, Bill and Molly, they've kind of been an on and off, on and off type relationship since the beginning of season eight. And I would say it's about time we finally resolve what that's all about. What is going on? Are they going to be in a relationship or are they going to be kindred spirits? Either way, I think that storyline needs some resolution. And given the fact that Bill is struggling with his health i think he may need to lean on molly more and might be more open to a relationship because of that so i think that in terms of a romantic relationship it might be a good time for bill and molly to finally consider committing to one one another and i would really like to see that play out in season 10 because i absolutely loved molly in season nine, but I just felt like she didn't have enough screen time. I would have loved to see her more. And I feel like a storyline with Bill would really give that opportunity for us to see more of her. And Bill was fantastic in season nine, don't get me wrong, but I would love to see the two of them together. They make a good pair. They, they go back and forth, they have good chemistry. I'd really like to see both of them together and potentially in a romantic relationship. Either way, their relationship needs to be defined at some point in season 10. So for number six, I really would love to see more community-oriented scenes, more whole cast shots, more events involving the entire town. I know last year we had Hope Valley Days, but even that was more focused on individuals rather than the entire community. I think that we need another, another natural disaster or something like that. Something that will last a couple of episodes, maybe even just one, but it doesn't matter. I, I want to see more community scenes and I want to see something really bring the community together, really unite all of the citizens of Hope Valley and make all of the individuals one group of people. I would just, I love the community storylines. They're my favorite. As all of you know, the season three finale is my all time favorite. I am praying and hoping that someday we will see a community oriented episode like that one. And you know, I've Got my fingers crossed. Maybe season 10 will get it. I, I'm really hoping we go back to those community roots. For number five, this one's more humorous than anything else, but we know there's going to be a wedding in season 10. That's kind of a given. Lucas and Elizabeth likely. What I am hoping for is that please, please, somebody put on a good bachelor party. Please. Spare us. Spare us the boring 
you know, repetitive bachelor party storyline. Because all of the episodes involving a bachelor slash bachelorette party in One Calls the Heart, they are always my least favorite episodes. So please, somebody make a bachelor party interesting. Somebody make the bachelorette party interesting. I know it's not always the most interesting topic, but please, please, think outside of the box. There's got to be something you can do. Or just skip it all together. I don't care. But either way, please make the bachelor party interesting. As for the wedding itself, and I'm talking about Lucas and Elizabeth's wedding, um, I would say I would really, really like to see a getaway wedding. Possibly maybe a very intimate ceremony with uh, Lucas's parents. And then Lucas and Elizabeth and Little Jack. I would really like to see that because it would be different than Jack and Elizabeth's wedding. It would be different than all the other weddings. It would really be very Lucas and Elizabeth-like to, you know, have some kind of wedding getaway. It'd be similar to the, uh, the hot air balloon scene where they just kind of go off into the sunset. I could see Lucas and Elizabeth having a more intimate wedding, maybe with Lucas's parents. I doubt they'd be able to bring in Elizabeth's parents, but Lucas's parents, it's a possibility. Little Jack, the preacher, slash maybe Bill, I don't know. Either way, I think a small, intimate, possibly getaway wedding would be the ideal wedding for them. For number four, this one's more general, but I am praying and hoping that we avoid any more love triangle nonsense in season 10. And by love triangle, I'm referring to two different love triangles. I am really tired of seeing the love triangle dynamic between Elizabeth, Lucas, and Nathan. I just, I think we should move on. I'm over it. Just let them be friends and move on. Like, I'm done. I'm done with that. Also, please do not start another love triangle between Faith, May, and Nathan. Nobody wants another love triangle. We are begging you, Hallmark. Please, no more love triangles. All we want is a linear romance for Nathan and May and Faith for all three of them. We don't want another love triangle because every love triangle ends with someone getting hurt. And it causes division among the fans. So please, I'm begging you, no love triangles. So my number three item on my wish list for season 10 would definitely be more classroom scenes and more student-oriented storylines. Some of my favorite storylines in older seasons, and even in some of the newer seasons, have been the storylines involving the children in Elizabeth's classroom. Personally, I think Elizabeth is at her best when she's teaching, and I really was missing that in the last few seasons. I, you know, I know COVID-19 was a big part of not being able to do those scenes, but I'd really love it if they could go back to Elizabeth's teaching roots and really delve into the classroom storylines once again. I... Some of my favorites, like I said, were the student storylines. Like, you had Hattie and her her Hamilton friend who died, and then when Allie first arrived, and then you had Cody and Abigail, and then Elizabeth and Cody and Jack. Like, you have some really great storylines with the kids, and I really missed those. We really didn't have a whole lot in seasons 8 or 9, so I would love to see more of those. It really brings out that heartfelt feeling to the show, and I'm missing that. I would love to see more of that. For my number two item, and this kind of overlaps with my number three item, I would really love to see more of Allie's growing up process and how Nathan handles that. Unfortunately, in season nine, we really didn't get a whole lot of Nathan and Allie scenes. I'm pretty sure we may have gotten one one-on-one -on -one Nathan and Allie scene, and that was the scene where she called him dad for the first time. To me, 
I think those two are at their best when they're together. So it, to me it was a shame that we only got one real intimate scene between the two of them. So I'm really hoping that changes and we got tons more screen time with the two of them because they are really, really important to the story. They add so much heart to the, to the show. And I think there's so much potential for Allie's growing up process and how Nathan handles that. It could open doors for him as well. Open doors for her, open doors to each other and to strengthen their relationship. Either way, I think it's a win-win. I think this is a storyline that needs to be given more, more screen time and more depth. And I really, really hope we see more of that in Season 10. And for my final item on my Season 10 wish list, the number one item, I really need some romance for Nathan. I have been waiting five years now. Going on five years. It's about time. I know everyone is thinking the same thing. It's about time. Obviously, I would love it if it could be a very well-told you know, intricate story. I would love that. At this point, I really, really would love to see him have some romance because, like I said, five years of waiting, it gets old after a while. And I just, I think he's been through so much, we haven't really gotten to see him have any, like, real payoff to any of that. It, it always just kind of leads into the next problem here, say. And I understand, you know, storytelling purposes can't always be perfect. But I think it's about time he finally had that in his life. You know, like, I think it's about time he met someone. I would, I would love for him to have a real love story that's believable, that is worth the five-year wait, and I really want it to feel like he has met the person that he is meant to be with, his soulmate, so that it doesn't feel like a cheap replacement. Like, I don't want to keep looking back and saying, oh, well, it was better when he was with Elizabeth. No, I want to see a romance that really pulls me in, and I never look back and say, oh, it, it used to be like this. I want to look at it and say, this is who he's meant to be with. This is his soulmate. That about wraps it up for my top 10 hopes for season 10. Comment below what some of your hopes are. Also be sure to like and subscribe for more episodes of Hardy Hot Takes.